What's up YouTube? Back with another lesson for you all. Uh, this week I wanted to talk a little bit about articulation and give you an exercise to do to help to maybe either add it to your already great warm-up routine or, or maybe you need an articulation exercise in your warm-up routine. When I've asked students before uh, what articulation exercises they're doing in their warm-up, they usually um, maybe don't have one or don't have any. Sometimes they do, sometimes they want to use, they use scales as uh, the thing that they're using to practice articulation, but I think it's important to have something to go to or a few things to go to uh, to add into your tool bag for when you feel like your articulation isn't quite on point and you want to make sure that uh, you get it focused in your warm-up routine. So I do an exercise like this. You can find the link to this PDF down below and uh, it sounds like this. So we're just trying to get the tongue working, we're trying to make it even, we're trying to make it clear, and we're trying to make it clean. So we're not thinking too, too slurred, so not... But not too short, so it's we don't want it to start and stop with the tongue. We just want it to go ta 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 Does that make sense? The tongue should hit the note just like as if you were hitting a bell with a hammer. So it's like the sound has a very clear beginning and it rings and it dies off on its own. We're just doing it in a very compressed time and space here. So ta 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 We're not gonna end the note with our tongue. It's not ta ta ta. That gets too much chewing involved, too much motion. Just think about the tongue hitting the beginning of that note. Ta 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 ta. But we're not. It's not totally slurred. It's not ta da 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 da. It's ta 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 ta. We think of this in scale degree numbers so that we can move it around the horn. So we start on one, it goes one, seven, one, five, six, seven, one, two, one, seven, six, seven, one, five, three, five, two, five, seven, five, one, three, two, three, one, five, three, five, one. All right, so we're trying to get that in our head, use those numbers, download the PDF, and then we're gonna move it around. So at first you can just move it down in half steps, so maybe down to A, three, four. So we want to get it to its tempo where you can actually get through the whole thing in one breath. We usually go down. I also want to go up. So maybe I'll just jump up, maybe not chromatically, but I'm going to jump up a minor third and do it in D flat major. Three. It's a little easier because there's uh, more resistance, not the air doesn't go through quite as fast, but uh, we keep moving it up. Whatever register you're playing in, that's going to help the articulation in that register. And then what we want to do is take this exercise and cut it in half. 11 measures, it's not going to be 5 measures. Back to the original key, back to B flat major, it's going to be... And what happens when you do that? You cut it in half. We have the beginning of the exercise to get the tongue moving, and then we start jumping all over the place to try to really zone in on that clarity and on that flexibility to be able to jump around and clearly articulate. So we'll move it around a little bit. Let's go to uh, the same thing. We can go down to A. Or we can go up into the upper register.
but whatever you do, it's really important to make sure that we strive for cleanliness and clarity and that you have something that you can use to practice that in your daily routine uh, or in your toolbox to pull from for the routine of the day if you're the type of person that likes to switch it up. So make sure you get an articulation exercise into your daily warm-up, whether you're a jazz trombonist, popular commercial music, whatever it is that you're doing. You need to have some of all the elements of playing in your warm-up, so that's thinking about sound, flexibility, and articulation, uh, which all feed into that ideas of clarity. So I hope this is a helpful exercise. Go down below, find the link to download the PDF of this if you need it, otherwise just transcribe it, it's pretty simple. If you enjoy lessons like this, I do have a virtual studio where there's lessons posted every single week. Uh, a, lot, a lot of times there are PDFs associated with those lessons and uh, you also get access to a private Facebook group where we are chatting all the time about different trombone stuff and uh, I'm giving video feedback. Students are uploading videos of themselves performing and uh, we just make a great time of it in there. So if you're interested in that, you can also see the links below. But thanks for being here and we'll see you back in a video real soon.